I'm going to read Miss Tizzy by Libba Moore Gray, illustrated by Jada Rowland. Miss Tizzy. There's Miss Tizzy. Look at her yard compared to everybody else's yard. All the other yards are very neat and tidy. Hers is messy, but full of flowers, wildflowers, plants and trees. The kids are all running to her house, it looks like. Well, there's the kids hanging out with Miss Tizzy in her front yard. Miss Tizzy always wore a purple hat with a white flower in it and high top green tennis shoes. The neighbors thought her peculiar, but the children loved her. Miss Tizzy's house was pink and sat like a fat blossom in the middle of a street with white houses white fences, and very neat flower gardens. Miss Tizzy had no fence at all, but she had flowers that grew everywhere and spilled over onto the sidewalk. That's her white hat, I mean her purple hat with the white flower. Miss Tizzy let the children pick the flowers. Then she gave them clean glass jelly jars to put them in, and the children loved it. Miss Tizzy's big yellow cat, Hiram, slept in a window box in the middle of some red geraniums. Sometimes he climbed on her shoulders and hung there like a tiled old, tired old fur piece. <laughs> cat on her shoulder. Looks like they're in the kitchen. On Mondays, Miss Tizzy baked cookies. She let the neighborhood children put in the raisins and then licked the bowl while the cookies were baking. The children loved it. Ooh, I bet they did. They're getting pretty messy there in the kitchen, huh? Do you think Miss Tizzy minds? On Tuesdays, Miss Tizzy made puppets out of old socks. She made a puppet for each boy and girl. They made up their own stories and put on shows for Miss Tizzy. She laughed and clapped every time, and the children loved it. Ooh, you're watching the kids put on a puppet show. Look at the cat. On Wednesdays, Miss Tizzy played her bagpipes. Look at that. She gave the children spoons and pans and let them pretend they were playing real drums. Each Wednesday, one child got to be special and play a silver penny whistle. Every child got a turn. They marched up and down the street with Miss Tizzy and her bagpipes leading the parade. Hiram sometimes marched along, and the children loved it. Think the neighbors like it? Maybe a little concerned. Maybe a little annoyed. On Thursdays, Miss Tizzy gave the children clean white paper and crayons. They drew pictures of sunshine and butterflies. They put them in Miss Tizzy's red wagon and delivered them all over town to people who had stopped smiling and had grown too tired to come out of their houses anymore. Hiram rode in the front of the wagon with a red ribbon around his neck, and the children loved it. Aww. 
of taking their colorful pictures to the people that live in town and don't come out anymore. Older people. There's the cat in the wagon. On Fridays, Miss Tizzy opened her trunk and they all played dress up. There were hats with feathers and hats with bows. There were baseball caps and straw hats with bright red bands. Everyone wore a hat. Miss Tizzy put on a lace shawl and served pink lemonade in her best china cups. The children loved it. There they are, having lemonade in their china cups and dressing up. See the cat? <laughs> You like to dress up? What? Are they roller skating? On Saturdays, Miss Tizzy put roller skates on her green tennis shoes and went up and down the sidewalks. The children came out of the White Houses and joined her. They made a roller skate train holding onto Miss Tizzy's long skirt. Hiram was usually the caboose. The children made train sounds and Miss Tizzy was the engineer. She never scolded the children for being too loud, and the children loved it. Look how fun. Another train. There's the cat. On Sundays, when the day was over, the children stretched out on bright quilts in Miss Tizzy's backyard and looked up at the stars. The tree frogs croaked their summer sounds as Miss Tizzy sang songs about the moon, slightly off key. The children didn't care, they loved it. There they all are, looking up at the stars and the moon. That's really fun to do on a summer night. Miss Tizzy in bed. I wonder what happened. One day Miss Tizzy took off her purple hat with the white flower and laid it on the window seat. Then she took off her high top green tennis shoes and placed them under her high white bed. Miss Tizzy lay down on her feather mattress. She was very sick. Hiram left his window box and curled up at her feet. He did not purr anymore. The doctor came and went. He shook his head and looked very serious. The children were sad. They didn't know what to do. They missed their grown-up friend. Finally, they had an idea. There's the doctor leaving. And the children looking sad and worried. There's Miss Tizzy in her bed with her cat. <coughs> On Monday, they baked cookies with raisins and brought them to the pink house. On Tuesday, they stood in the yard and held up puppets to the window. They put on a puppet show just for Miss Tizzy. Aww. They're outside her window. How are they doing? On Wednesday, they brought pans and spoons and played a soft little drumming sound just outside the door. On Thursday, they drew pictures with orange and red crayons and put them in Miss Tizzy's mailbox. They are drumming outside her door. And there's the pictures in her mailbox. On Friday, they put on funny hats and left a tea tray at the front door. They left Hiram a bowl of cool milk. On 
Saturday, on Saturday, they put a brand new pair of skates in a big box with a purple ribbon on top and took them to Miss Tizzy. Oh, they got her brand new skates. On Sunday, when the sun went away, the children stood underneath Miss Tizzy's window. They sang all the moon songs she had taught them. Oh, there they are singing. Miss Tizzy's hat glowed in the moonlight. She was having a peaceful dream. She heard the children singing and she loved it. There's your hat. Oh, that's the end. What do you think happened? Do you think she got better? I hope so. Miss Tizzy.